Hello, today we're going to do um, Apache by The Shadows. It was one of the, uh, the first iconic uh, instrumentals, electric guitar instrumentals, played on a Fender Strat uh, by the wonderful Hank Marvin. I did a, I did a, a performance of this a couple of months ago, so uh, I'm not going to play it all again, I'm just going to show you the main bits. This is the track, backing track. the song you know or the tune or whatever you want to call it um, let's get straight into how to play it before I do uh, so press that subscribe button and click that bell so you know when I'm putting new stuff up um, that'll be cool and tell your mates I've got a, a few more of these to do before I start doing my proper stuff again back in um, my own little music school so uh, make the most of these while you can right so let's look at the intro it's in a minor we start on the third string, second fret. This is the lick we're going to play. So, third string, second fret, second finger. Second string, first fret, first finger. And then add these two fingers to the same string. Just lie them across the same string because you're going to pull this, bend it, and let it, and then release it. Okay, and then back to the first position. 3rd string, 2nd fret, back to the 2nd string, 1st fret, and then with your 3rd finger slide up from the, on the 1st string from the 3rd to the 5th fret, and then 3, and then off, and we do that twice. And it'll never do that bit again, so, but and that's probably one of the trickiest little bits. Okay, so we do that. Next thing, straight back into, straight into the main melody. Now, Hank Marvin uses a tremolo, and, and I've got one on this, tel on this old Telecaster. If you haven't got one, you've just got to, you know, you've just got to make do and try and use your finger if you can. Well, if you're playing an open string, for example, at the second fret, try and find the alternative note on a third string. We, we'll get to that a bit later. All right, but um, for now, let's just get to the main notes. Okay, so this is the main part of the, uh, the, the main melody note. Okay, lie one finger across four, the fourth and third string and play four, three, four, three, four at the fourth fret, then at the second, with your first finger, then off, and then back on, and a little whammy if you've got one off. Do that again. Okay. Then move your finger down to the, to the third string, second fret. Now I always use my third finger for this. I find it easier. You can use your second if you want. So third string, second fret. Second string, third fret, and then back again. Those same two notes. So I'll do that again. And then off. Open second. Back on the third string, second fret. Then off. Then back on. So. Now you notice there's an open second string in there, and if I didn't have a whammy bar. I'd probably go to the third string at the uh, fourth fret just to give it some vibrato rather than... I'm not using this at the moment because I just want you to concentrate on the notes. So we've got this. the gallop which is this bit okay 
<laughs> now the way I play this and the way Hank does it, because I'm doing it exactly the same way he does, two fingers, imagine you're playing an F like that, this is where it comes from, put two fingers there, fingers two and three, alright? Now I want you to think of this in your head, down, down, up, 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 alright? What does that mean? Okay, we start on the on the fifth string with these two fingers at the third fret. Down, down to your fourth string. Down, up, down, down, up. All right. So what? One down on the fifth, and then down, up, down, down, up. Repeat. Down, down, up, down, down, and again. And you must do it that way, otherwise you won't get the speed. And then drop your first finger onto the second fret, fourth string and then finish with an open fifth and then do it all again. Drop your first finger down to the fourth string, the second fret, but don't play the fifth. So put that together. which is like uh, another F section. Okay, so what's this bit? Three fingers, line them up, damp, damp, bam, okay? Rather, again, it's all derived from the F, but we don't need the whole chord because we're playing single notes. So first finger there, second on the second string, this one on the third, this one on the fourth, and we play four, three, two, second string open at the first fret, second string, then the third fret, second string, and then the first string open, then back to the second string, third fret, back to the first, then off. Uh, sorry, that was a mistake. I should have ended on the third string of the second fret. I'll do that again. Okay, and again, vibrato. I think do that again. But the second time round, it plays a third string, and then you've got a little lick that we have to do. While that third string is playing, we've got that little line. So we've got, we take our, sec our third finger, put it on the second string of the third fret, slide it from the third to the fifth, then drop your first finger onto the first string of the third fret. Okay, so. Then hit the second string again and slide it to the eighth. And then play the first string of the sixth. And then hit two strings together with a downstroke. And slide them down one fret and then back. Now with a Hank Marvin doesn't do that. That last bit he does. But if you haven't got a whammy bar to bend the note down, you do that. So. Back to the gallop. Second half of the gallop. Okay, and then we're going to run into the like the gallopy part of the melody again, played here. Now, this is pretty straightforward. It's not that difficult. Put your first finger across the five and the four with the seventh fret. Okay, and down, 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 up, down, 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 down. That's what you've got to remember. Down, 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 up, down, 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 down. There's only one upstroke in the whole of that section. Down, and then we come down from the fifth. Down, then down from the fourth. Down, down, up, down, down. So the first half of it. Down, 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 up, down, down. Back to the fifth. Down, down, back to the fourth. Down, back to the fifth. Down. the ninth fret, down, down, up, down, 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 okay, I'll do that again, third finger on the fifth string of the ninth, down, down, up, down, down, seventh fret, down, 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 fourth string at the seventh, fifth string at the seventh, you finish. Put a bit of 
palm muting on that. Now the next bit, you go, you do exactly the same thing, but move everything down one string, everything down to the ground one string, but no muting. Just play it, that's that round once, and then back to this one again with the mute. Then a chord, then back to this bit. As before. And again. But instead of doing this, again, it goes. Okay, let me show you what that is. All on the third string, dead easy this. Down, up, down, 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 down. And I'm just putting that finger on and off the third string of the first fret. Down, up, down, 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 up. Sorry, down, up, down, 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 down. I'll do that again. After that, the gallop. As before. And then finally, we do the final riff with one finger, because this is what Hank does, he goes down, down, up, down, down, up at the first fret. Down, down, up, down, down, up at the fifth fret. Down, down, up, down, down, up at the eighth fret. I bet you're not going to guess what's next. You guessed it. Down, down, up, down, down, up at the 13th and then finish with the one note at the 12th so okay and then we do the little intro again which I said only happened once so it doesn't but this time it sort of uh, instead of doing that little that again it goes it sort of goes from the uh, third string, second fret, back to the second string, first fret. I'll do that slowly. That's the first one. Do that. Three, two, three, two, three. And I just end on the on the uh, A minor. Well, let me get this up. Right, I'll see if I can play a bit of this. My phone's going to ring any minute with a student, so I've got to make this fast. Right. 
trying on the A minor. Back to the set section. Again. Now watch this bit. Da 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 da. Gallop. Final riff. Glasses are falling off. You get the idea. That backing track at the end is a load of crap. So, um, you know, it will fade out. If you're going to do it, just go. Whatever. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Now remember, Hank Marvin, every note's unlike um, a lot of the rock stuff and all the other heavy stuff that you um, that you all like, which I like as well. Um, when you make a mistake with this type of thing, the whole world will hear it because the guitar is clinically clean. So it's all about accuracy and playing the notes correctly. Now obviously when you get a long note, you've got to use the whammy bar. I, I refrain from using that during this tutorial just to, because most of you probably haven't got one. So remember, bend the string instead. Of, when you come across an open second string and you can't bend it, you can always substitute that with a third string at the fourth fret. All right, so think about things like that if you want to maintain that, uh, that vibrato. Right, I've got a rush. Remember, subscribe, tell your chums, a uh, couple more um, tutorials before the 1st of July. So um, if you subscribe and press the bell or whatever it is, I'm, I'm not very good with all this bloody, whatever, uh, you know what I mean. Just uh, subscribe and I'll, it'll let you know when I've got another one up. In the meantime, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.